And now for the 2019 Coral Welsh Grand National, it is now post time. The flag is raised. They're being called in. The new distance of three miles, six and a half furlongs, which means the extra fence, the 23rd, will be taken and they're off in the Coral Welsh Grand National and looks like power is restrained at the back of the field as on the inside the two amigos goes on with Yala Enki and Yala Enki touches down in front a very bad mistake by Space Cadet towards the outside but he survives that blunder racing just worse than midfield and now two complete circuits to go and the charge down the hill to the turn taken by the stables last year's third Yala Enki the two amigos on the inside and then Wales' own Potter's Corner racing alongside Trucker's Lodge as they dash towards the turn. Now McGinty is racing in fifth position just alongside Arthur's Gift and then on the inside is Prime Venture with Space Cadet and Elegant Escape last year's winner. Towards the inside is Pobbles Bay as they begin to race away from the enclosures and it's the two amigos and Matt Griffiths to the outside, Yala Enki and Briny Frost and those are the first two. A break of a length and a half back to Potter's Corner racing in third position and in fourth now is Trucker's Lodge and then now McGinty races towards the outside on the inside rail is Prime Venture and between those two is Arthur's Gift and then Space Cadet who survived that bad blunder at fence number one. Elegant Escape is next to the field he's racing in midfield and he's racing at the moment alongside Pobbles Bay as they cross over fence number two the first of the six taken in the back straight looks like power was the back marker. Rathlin Rose is also towards the rear of the field with Pop Rockstar and the Orange of West approach towards the outside as they go over the next, which was the first of the open ditches. Also racing towards the rear of the field early is Captain Chaos as they go over another plain one. Yala Enki towards the outside of the two Amigos. These are the first two. Followed in third by Potter's Corner and out wide in the green is Trucker's Lodge who's racing in fourth position. Prime Venture in fifth, now McGinty in sixth, Arthur's Gift in seventh, Elegant Escape was over in eighth position. Followed on the inside by Pobbles Bay, racing in ninth. Space Cadet in the stripes is in tenth. The Mayor Field Exhibition rounds out the first ten, with on the inside Pop Rockstar Rathlin Rose. And then on the outside, West Approach, as they go over the next one, taken down the back straight. Slightly downhill at this point. Captain Chaos is still one of those towards the rear of the field, with looks like power and all flow Rathlin Rose as they go over the next. There was a mistake there by Field Exhibition, who did didn't get terribly high. So well strung out as they make the run now on a long gallop before they cross over fence number eight in the home straight. And on the inside, it's Yala Enki who moves into a clear lead once again. The two amigos who's racing in second and Potter's Corner is in third. Now there's over three lengths back to on the inside, Prime Venture who shares fourth position with Trucker's Lodge around that one's outside. Pobbles Bay is next with Arthur's Gift and out a little wider is Nell McGinty, then Space Cadet, then the black and yellow of Elegant Escape, who's racing just alongside Pop Rockstar, and then the stable mate of Elegant Escape, West Approach, in the vivid orange, racing alongside Field Exhibition, the red silks of Rathlin Rose on the inside. Next is Captain Chaos, and then Virginia Chick, and still last of the 17, looks like power as they go over the first fence taken in the home straight. That was the eighth, they're all safely over the ninth, is another of the open ditches. And Yala Enki comes towards it, joined again now by the two amigos towards his outside as they crossed over that open ditch. They all jumped it pretty well. Racing in third is Potter's Corner, and then on the outside is Trucker's Lodge and Prime Venture and Arthur's Gift, the purple. And then Elegant Escape was now cut to the inside in the hands of Robbie Power, and they take another plain one. Yala Enki led the parade over that, all safely over, still looks like Power, who's been ridden chilly at the back of the field by Richard Patrick, is the back marker. This will be the second from home in a circuit's time. It's the 11th. This time around, and again, they are all safely over. They've all completed one circuit in the Coral Welsh Grand National, and Yala Enki still out in front. The two amigos to the outside in second. Potter's Corner was over in third. Trucker's Lodge in fourth. Prime Venture is in fifth, and then Elegant Escape is in sixth. Now McGinty is racing in seventh position, but they're now beginning to bunch up with a circuit to go, and to the cheer of the crowd, it's Yala Enki who has a head in front. Over the two amigos in second.
second and Potter's Quarter in third and in fourth is Trucker's Lodge, followed by Prime Venture and Elegant Escape against the inside rail. Now McGinty and Arthur's Give Captain Chaos making a wide sweeping move around the outside of the field, although he'll be about six wide as they go into the turn and the two amigos now goes on into the lead as they take that turn. Still out the back of the field, the likes of Rathlin Rose with two behind him. Virginia Chick is last but one and still looks like power is the back marker. Still all 17 of them are still going as now they climb towards the back straight. They have 11 more fences to take and it is Matt Griffiths and the two amigos who lead. Bryony Frost and Yala Enki racing in second. Potter's Corner and Jack Tudor in third. Truckers Lodge is in fourth. Prime Venture is in fifth. Now McGinty is in sixth. Now being joined by Field Exhibition who is creeping just a little closer. Then Captain Chaos, who's taking a very wide course into the back straight as they go over that first one taken down the back. They are all safely over. Elegant Escape is going well right on the inside. The black and yellow colors for Robbie Power, last year's winner. And this is the penultimate open ditch in the contest. All safely over. Looks like Power is still the back marker. On then towards the next. This is the 15th. The two amigos, Yala Enki, Potter's Corner, Prime Venture, Elegant Escape, followed out wider by Trucker's Lock and then the Mayfield Exhibition, and now McGinty, Arthur's Gift, and then the light blue of Pobbles Bay, who's trying to get a little bit closer as they go over the 16th fence. Captain Chaos pecks slightly on landing. Space Cadet is beginning to struggle. He's now last but one, and still the back marker is looks like power. On now towards the 17th. Two more to take in the back straight. The two amigos led them over that. And they are all safely over, although there was a mistake at the back of the field by Space Cadet, who is beginning to tail off. So down now towards the 18th, and this will be the sixth from home. The two amigos flies over that safely. A mistake by Captain Chaos out very wide, and now they're beginning to get strung out in behind the two amigos, who still leads by three lengths to Yala Inky in second. Potter's Corner is in third. Elegant Escape is creeping closer, going the shortest way for Robbie Power, and he's now beginning to close on the leading trio. He's racing alongside Prime Venture and also Trucker's Lodge. A break the of a couple of lengths back to Pop Rockstar, who races on the inside of Arthur's Gift and also Pobbles Bay. And then a couple of lengths back to Rathlin Rose, who's on the inside of Nell McGinty, Captain Chaos, Virginia Chick, still another three lengths back to West Approach. And then looks like Power, who's passed a couple. Sea Cadet is one of them, as now they're in line for home. They've got five more to take in the Coral Welsh Grand National. And the two amigos will lead now for Wales on the outside. Potter's Corner is there in second. And staying on as well as Prime Venture towards the inside. Elegant Escape now comes under a ride. Truckers Lodge towards the outside over the final open ditch, and that was the fourth from home. Yala Enki rallying on the inside now for Bryony Frost. The two amigos is still right there. Potter's corner towards the near side for Jack Tudor. Then Truckers Lodge staying on into fourth over the first from home, and Potter's corner has jumped his way into the lead down the hill and on towards the second from home. Potter's corner. The two Two amigos on the near side, Trucker's Lodge. Yala Enki jumped it in fourth. Prime Venture is in fifth. Elegant Escape is in sixth. They're a long way clear of the rest. It's Potter's Corner who's out in front. He leads now by a length and a half to Trucker's Lodge in second. They're over the final fence, and Potter's Corner has got the lead in the Coral Welsh Grand National. He's cleared out by three lengths to in second, Trucker's Lodge, Yala Enki, and Prime Venture. But it's the Christian Williams train, Potter's Corner, who wins the Coral Welsh. National for Wales! Potter's Corner wins for Jack Tudor over in second place, Trucker's Lodge, followed home by Yala Enki, and in fourth came Prime Venture. What a fantastic day for Christian Williams. What a fantastic day for Jack Tudor. Potter's Corner adds a Welsh Grand National to his Midlands National, and he has put up a brave performance there, Wayne. Yeah, what a what a race. Um, fantastic horse race to watch coming up the straight. Great result for Wales, and um, you know Christian's mapped this out obviously, and. Um, the plans come off, so very rewarding. Very rewarding. This horse hasn't run over fences, Jim, since he was winning that race at Utoxeter. It was a plan that's got, come to fruition. Hasn't it just? Because when he last won, that was actually Christian's last winner on the 7th of December. 20 days later, he wins over fences. Plan executed. And the 15th winner of a career for young Jack Tudor. 
incredible for Jack Tudor. You were in the studio with us a couple of weeks ago, Wayne, and you highlighted him as a talent to watch. Yeah, he's, he's very talented. Um, he was very cool. I know the horse has traveled extremely well through the race, but uh, not any moment did he panic. Um, he's ridden a lovely race, and um, he showcased his talent today. <laughs> he sure has, and there's plenty of people cheering this one home, both connected with the horse and in the crowd. And this is a result for Wales, make no mistake. A nine-year-old now, this Potter's Corner gym. And uh, it was great to see so many horses finishing the race. It was. It was a terrific race. I mean, the handicapper will be delighted. Um, sometimes in this race on bad ground, they finish strung out three or four fences. That's not the case today. Uh, what a tough horse is. When he hit the front, um, Wayne and I agreed he's going to be a very hard horse to pass because he, he really does stay longer than the mother-in-law. <laughs>